He's in my guts. <laughs> YouTube! Listen up, YouTube. I haven't came on here and encouraged you guys in a minute. And sometimes, you know, we just... We get, you know, lazy. Or we get, you know... You know, we just, we just settle in. And we're not you know encouraged or you know we don't feel pumped about what we're doing anymore but here at Velocity Cuts I'm here to tell you guys we got a bunch of smiles on our face and we love what we do okay we love what we do okay I'm just here to tell you Oh my god. <laughs> Memo, you wasn't even tripping up. <laughs> Dang. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> no, wait. No. I was looking at George. George was just like, and then I went to Memo, and Memo was just. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Hey, you guys, in this video. <laughs> in this video, I did a comb over. I did a comb over. Thanks to Memo and George. These guys really helped me out on the comb over. <laughs> no, they didn't. They really did. They really did. But yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> hey, Jeezy forgot to put us in the uh, the intro, so I'm about to do it myself. Hey. Yeah, yeah, he forgot. He only put them to his favorite barbers. Yeah. Forgot me. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? So yeah, yeah. You forgot. Do you have anything to say? No? Listen, I'm sorry. No, what? What? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. That's all you got. That's all you gotta say. You forgot to mention no, us. What happened? What had happened was it was more natural. What happened? You know what I mean? You gotta catch the vibe when the vibe is given. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, to start off this haircut, what I'm gonna do is saturate my client's hair with water. Now, I'm not gonna drench it, I'm just trying to identify where that part is, and I'm just gonna, you know, mist it real quick and lay everything down. That way, I could start on the fade. So now that I got everything laid like I want it, I'm gonna use my wall 1919 anniversary clippers with the one guard open and I'm just gonna clear off a lot of the bulk on the top. Now I'm gonna leave some overhang, some bulk at the top um, just so I could clip or overcomb it. But right now I'm gonna start clearing out the bulk so I can set in my guidelines. So blending into a one is very, very simple. Right now I'm using my Andes Slimline Pro Allies and I'm setting in my bald line and I'm set setting it in like a rainbow like shape. Now with the lever open, using your corners, go up about an inch, still keep that rainbow like shape. Now it's time to get out that top line with the zero guard closed and in a flick out motion start below the line and flick to the line.
Now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out the bottom line. Keep in mind as you go up, you might want to adjust your lever. Um, also, you want to use your corners as much as possible through this whole entire process. So what I like to do to create another transition is to bald out the very bottom of the blend. This creates a better transition, makes everything look clean. So as far as the back goes, it's the same steps I use on the sides. Like I said, it's very easy to blend in to a one. All you gotta do is create that first bald line, go with the lever open, then go with the zero guard closed to knock out that top line then start blending down from there using the lever closed to knock out that bottom line. So when I do my clipper over comb, I like to visualize my client's head as a high top. So I'm just gently putting my comb up to my client's head and I'm just gonna little by little take off all the hair that sticks out. What you wanna do is set your guidelines even as you're doing, you know, clipper over comb. You wanna go up a little bit, you know, take, take that off, take that hair that's sticking out off, go up a little bit more, use that piece that you took off at at that first time you took it off and just use that as a guideline and keep going up it's the same thing as cutting hair off the top you know what I mean it's, it's, it's that same concept so you know use your your guidelines and uh, you know whatever sticks out take off So right now I'm gonna run my two guard up. Um, I'm just being real cautious right now. I don't want to clip her over comb and you know, you know, mess up or anything. So I'm just gonna uh, smoothen everything out with my two guard open. So right now I'm gonna saturate my client's top with water. Um, just getting it all saturated, just so I could do some shear work. So right now I'm going to take off about an inch. I'm going to start from the front and work my way back. Now I'm using the front as a guideline and I'm going to travel it all the way to the back. I'm going to do the same thing in the middle and on the other side um, I'm just going to connect that piece and I'm, I'm going to share a little bit more as I get to that.
so on this side I'm going to pull the bangs back and set my fingers at a 45 degree angle and just take off all the excess hair now I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna run it up and connect it to the other side to the longest peak on the other side and I'm gonna do that as I go back taking off all this bulk on the side Right now I'm adding some oil based product in my client's hair um, just to add some volume and I'm just going to blow dry in style. If you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe 
button make sure you guys follow me on instagram snapchat my snapchat is jeezy360 and my instagram is 360 jeezy if you like the beat go over to hustle dreams production his youtube channel will be in the links in the description below if you want to know where you can buy any tools that you've seen in this video check out the links in the description below as well otherwise it's your boy 360 jeezy and i'm out of here Cheat.